Hello and welcome to another video by George's Shed. Okay, so today I'm going to be showing you how to calibrate your 3D printer using a piece of paper and a screwdriver. Let's get started. Okay, so first of all what you're going to want to do is um, auto home your 3D printer. Uh, so I'm using the Prusa i3 3D printer. Uh, this may uh, be different for your 3D printer. So you need to go to quick settings and then down to home all and uh, home your 3D printer. Okay, so now your 3D printer is home. So now the print head should be at the bottom left hand corner of the print bed. Print bed. Um, so next what you're going to want to do is uh, disable the stepper motors. Um, this is so you can manually uh, move it about. So disable stepper. So now that means I can move the print head without um, doing it through the software. Okay, so now I'll show you how to actually calibrate it. So you want to get your sheet of paper and um, basically what you want is the print head to be just nipping the piece of paper between the print bed and the hot end. Um, so the best way to do this is to go to each corner, put your piece of paper under and move it about. And uh, this is a little bit uh, loose so I'm going to release the screw a bit until it's just starting to nip the paper. The man's actually quite far out of calibration. So now it's a little bit too tight, so we'll just tighten up the screw to lower the print bed a little bit. And it's good to take your screwdriver off the screw every time you check it, because the weight of the screwdriver will push the bed down a bit so it won't be properly calibrated. So once you've done one corner, you need to do the next corner. So same again with the piece of paper. Because if your print bed isn't level, uh, then what can happen is, basically one side of your print will start all right, but then as it gets, as the print bed gets higher, um, when it moves across, it will basically, the nozzle will touch the bed and it will stop the filament coming out so basically it will basically be printing your thing on the slope and it can damage the extruder motor uh, because it can't obviously is trying to push it and it can't push it through so now that one's done we'll do the last one the second to last one I should say so now that one's done we'll do the last one the second to last one should say. The more time you spend doing this, the better your prints will be, because it'll be better calibrated. Okay, so now that last uh, corner's done, uh, we'll just check um, check all the corners again. Because what can happen is, as you do other corners, it can uncalibrate the first ones you did. So now that's a little bit tight, so we're just going to tighten the screw up a bit. So there we go, now your 3D printer is calibrated and ready to print. Thanks for watching, bye!